Hello, everyone, and welcome to the American Heritage School Virtual College Fair. I want to thank you all for joining us tonight. A few housekeeping announcements before we get started. Um, students and families, you can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. Your camera and microphone are turned off, so the panelists cannot see or hear you. This is just one of multiple different sessions happening this evening. So please be sure to sign up for an additional session after this if you're interested. Um, all processions, presentations are being recorded and will be available within about a week at the same website in which you registered. And now I would like to turn it over to our first presenter. And that is gonna be Columbus College of Art and Design. All right, hi everybody. My name is Marie and I'm an admissions counselor with Columbus College of Art and Design located in Columbus, Ohio. So my role as an admissions counselor is to help you through the college admissions process. So what does that mean? Uh, we help students just like you learn more about your college options and potential career paths. We also help you build a better portfolio for your application to CCAD and navigate the financial aid process. All right, so now that you know a little bit more about us, we'd really like to learn more about each of you. So if you're watching this on a computer or tablet, simply take out your phone camera and hold it over this QR code. It'll automatically take you to a quick questionnaire where you can tell us a little bit more about yourself and your interests. So you may be wondering why Columbus? Um, why should I call this place home for four years and begin my professional life here? I personally moved to Columbus about three years ago now, right after I completed my BFA degree. And I can honestly say it's a wonderful city for young professionals, especially in creative fields. So as the fastest growing major metropolitan area in the US, Columbus is one of the top 10 cities for recent college graduates. Columbus is also a thriving artistic community and is home to the Columbus International Film and Animation Festival, which is the oldest film festival in the United States. Short North Arts District, which showcases homegrown and international talents. And the indie art scene thrives in old converted warehouses like 400 West Rich and Millworks Art Studios. Not to mention our next door neighbor, the Columbus Museum of Art, which features several permanent collections as well as rotating exhibits. Entrance to the museum is free um, with your CCAD student ID as well. So in addition to Columbus's constantly increasing job market and vibrant art scene, another real benefit of living in Columbus compared to other large creatively focused cities is the affordable cost of living. So as you can see, living in Columbus is significantly less expensive than living in some of the other major cities listed here on the screen. All right, so a little bit more about CCAD. We are a private nonprofit art and design college, one of the oldest in the country, founded in 1879. Our student to faculty ratio is nine to one, which means that our classes are small enough that you receive personal attention from your professors and large enough that you're able to discuss and receive constructive feedback about your pieces. So at CCAD, you'll graduate with a BFA or Bachelor's of Fine Arts within your chosen major. So for example, if you choose to major in animation, you'll graduate with a Bachelor's of Fine Arts in animation. In a BFA program, your curriculum is more studio-based, which combines your artistic practice with liberal arts courses. At CCAD, about two-thirds of the curriculum is studio-based and one-third is based in the liberal arts. So we offer 11 different majors at CCAD, which you can see here, as well as numerous different minors and concentrations, including our popular business minor. Um, you can read about each major more in depth, as well as its requirements and view student work from each major on our website at CCAD. So CCAD and the Columbus art scene provides students with chances to network and develop relationships with individuals within the industry. And we know that when it comes to being a successful artist, it's not only about what you know, but also who you know as well. So if you're a student who's interested in writing scripts, you should meet an alumni like Angelo Thomas, an independent filmmaker, screenwriter, and novelist. This film, The Incredible Jake Parker, was released in September of 2020 and is based on the novel he wrote with the same title. The cover art you can see on the screen is by a fellow CCAD animation student, Casey Nipwadu. Maybe you're interested in creating a designer brand, in which case you should meet someone like Susanna Madrid. After graduating from CCAD, Susanna moved to Milano, Italy to pursue her fashion degree um, in design. So while there, she had the opportunity to design shoes for Neil Barrett. 
And while she was there, she also fell in love with the design and production process um, and actually was able to launch her own luxury shoe line that embodies the made in Italy artistry and craftsmanship that she so admires. Her shoes are currently sold in print temps in Paris and also online at SusannahMedrid.com. And if you're ever in the Columbus area, you can find them at the Thread Boutique in Grandview, Ohio. Another alumni you should definitely look into if you're interested in animation is Dan Scanlon, who has directed Disney animations like Onward, Monsters University, and worked on other Disney features as well. Meeting the right people can definitely change the entire course of your career development, for sure. So if CCAD sounds like a good fit for you and you haven't already, please scan this QR code. We will be in touch with you soon. All right, uh, thank you all so much for joining us today. If you have any additional questions, you can reach us at admissions at ccad.edu. We hope to hear from you soon. Thank you very much. We're gonna move over to our second college for the evening. Um, and this is La Roche Global Hospitality Management. I cannot seem to start the video, but it's okay. <laughs> Even not audio. Um, you can feel free to. Oh, there you go. Okay. <laughs> Let me see if now it works. So I'll just go back. So I'm Patricia. I'm from La Roche. Let me just. It's kind of, sorry. It's my computer, sorry. <laughs> so, sorry, I'm Patricia, I'm from La Roche. So where are we located? We're located in Switzerland, in Spain and in China. And La Roche is a school and that is basically in Switzerland. It was founded in 1954, and it's very famous for business and hospitality management. So our degree is US accredited by the New England Commission of Higher Education. It is also a very international school where you can find around 100 nationalities living on campus. And students also can travel all around the world while they do their studies, while either in their internships or in any of our campuses. Uh, we offer a very personalized education. So it's small class sizes between 15 to 30 students per class. Uh, the program is all in English, but also students get the opportunity to know other languages like French, German, Italian, and Spanish. So according to the QS rankings, we are ranked top three in the world in hospitality and leisure management. So our campuses, this is our Crans Montana campus. It is located in the Swiss Alps in a very famous ski resort, Crans Montana. So here is in the winter, students can go and ski. Then we have our Marbella campus. It is located in the southernmost part of Spain. Uh, Marbella is very famous because of it's a touristic and luxury destination. And also from Marbella, you can travel to Geneva two hours away or to Milan that is also two hours away. So it's a great city. And last but not least, our Shanghai campus uh, located in China. So for those adventurous students that want to go and live in one of the world's economic power and meet other people from other nationalities, other cultures, this is a great place to go. So La Roche's career focused from day one. We have a combination of academic learning, practical arts and global internships. 
So this is our program. We offer a bachelor degree in business administration with global hospitality management. The program is three and a half years. You have two internships and the intakes are February and September. So our first semester, you get involved in practical arts. And in here you can choose to start maybe in the Crans Montana campus, for example. And then throughout the semester, so as I was saying, you can live up to four countries. So maybe semester three, you can do it in China. Semester four, you can do it in London. And semester six and seven, you can end up in Marbella in Spain. So this is a great opportunity to travel. Also, we offer two internships in the program. Semester two, you do a professional internship. It will be more practical, while the semester five will be more administrative. Then semester three and four, you get immersed into the world of business and hospitality. And semester six and seven, you wrap up and choose a specialization. Usually students choose entrepreneurship or marketing or finance. Uh, around a third of La Roche students are entrepreneurs. So it's a very popular uh, choice of specialization. Also, you could end up with a master's degree um, if you do the five years. It's a great option for students. And who recruits from us? So we have around 200 industry partners from the non-traditional hospitality industry. We have Price Waterhouse Cooper, a consulting firm. We have uh, luxury firms like Louis Vuitton, Hublot, we have Bloomberg. But we also have the traditional hospitality firms like Marriott, Rich Carlton, the Mandarin Oriental, Four Seasons. So really the students can choose like either of the paths if they want to pursue their hospitality degree or because they have uh, a business background, they can always end in the corporate world. And also I wanted to say before this, so at the end of, um, of their studies, usually the, the students are very well-rounded. Why? Because they have traveled maybe to four countries, they know different languages, they have one year of work experience because of their professional internships, and they have developed these soft skills from traveling, from, from meeting people with 100 nationalities, which we have in campus, like 95% of our students are from all over the world. So if, if you're interested, you could always do our summer experience. It's either one week or two weeks during the summer, July, August. And our most popular one is the two weeks, Switzerland and Spain. So thank you very much for your time. If you have any questions, let me know. Thank you so much. Um, our third university for the night that we're gonna go over to is Savannah College of Art and Design. All right. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much um, for letting us come and speak with you today. I want to go ahead and dive right into the culture of SCAD and show you what our university is all about. I'm driven to create. To be expressive. <laughs> to collaborate with only the best and across disciplines. If you have an outlet like the arts where you can be in these other worlds and imagine anything. Growing up in the arts, I've seen it change people's lives. There are things happening in our classrooms where students are actually reimagining their own education in the way that we communicate with each other. What is that next step for them? How are they going to make those contacts with their future employers? During my time at SCAD, what was so magical was that it was this hot pot of creative people from different types of majors that could influence each other. I would say my two greatest lessons that I learned from SCAD were learning the structure of the industry and, and the strong work ethic, but I think you really hone those skills at SCAD. I am the creative director of Christopher John Rogers. Growing up, I always knew that I, that fashion was my passion. Ew, gross. Okay, wait. <laughs> 
I absolutely love SCAD. I love SCAD, too. I love it more than John Krasinski. Hey, Bees. Hey, SCAD. Hello, SCAD. Extremely bright, smart people who love creativity, fashion, design, art, film, telling their version of their own story. I am an artist. I am a performer. I'm an entrepreneur. Storyteller. Thanks to SCAD, my future as a creative professional is real. It's happening. You are the next incarnation of this beautiful planet that needs design, that needs beauty, that needs your mind and your spirit and your energy your power, your unique voice. Because you have something unique to say. This is Scad. Anyone who asks me about college in the US, all I say is, Scad. Don't even think of anything else. And SCAD was actually founded in 1978. This is what we look like in the beginning. Um, and this is what we look like now. We actually have over 80 different buildings on our Savannah campus. And we do have a few different campus locations. We have our Atlanta campus, Savannah. We also have a study abroad program in Lacoste, France. And then we do have our e-learning campus, which is online as well too. And just some general overviews. We do have about 15,000 students we have students from all 50 states and students from over 100 different countries. Just about 25% of our student body population is international students. So you're really going to be learning from people all around the world. And these are all of the different majors that we have. We have 43 different majors in art and design, and then we also have an exceptional equestrian studies program as well. And what's great about SCAD is you don't have to know what you want to major in right away. We'll help you figure that out. We have student success advisors that will teach you really, um, you know, what the best career path is going to be for you. And this is definitely my favorite statistic from SCAD. So of our 2019 graduates, 99% were either employed, seeking further education, or they were doing both within 10 months of graduating with 91% of those students employed in a creative field. And it just goes to show that the University for Creative Careers, that's really our mission statement. That's at the heart of everything that we do. One of the ways that we are able to um, allow students to engage with future employers is through this program called SCAD Pro. This is basically an in-house internship. We've done over 500 SCAD Pro projects where students have worked on and created new designs for real world companies. And it's definitely proof that that real world experience will set you apart and bring you that much closer to your dream job. And also at SCAD, I did show you this a little bit in the introductory video. We do have a number of signature events. So whether you are listening to a commencement speech from Alicia Keys, or you're sitting in on the master's class with one of your favorite actors or actresses during the Savannah Film Festival, all of these opportunities are really unique for SCAD students. We do have over a hundred different clubs and organizations outside of the classroom. Our athletics department is absolutely incredible. I believe they have about 23 national titles across all of our athletics at SCAD. I do wanna invite you to our program called Guests in Gusto. This is open to the public. This is how SCAD has elevated um, the Zoom experience that we're all living in right now. And essentially we bring in different leaders and different creators and innovators, and they share all of their different projects that they're working on. Um, so with that being said, I'm just going to wrap it up and quickly mention our summer programs. We do have SCAD Summer Seminars, which is a one-week program for freshmen, sophomores, and juniors. And then we also have opportunities for juniors to do dual enrollment um, as well as seniors too. So definitely stay in contact. We love to connect with students and we hope to welcome you to the SCAD family. Thank you very much, Samantha. We're going to go to our four, fourth school of the night, um, and that is EHL. All right. Thank you so much. Uh, all right, everyone. Let me just uh, share my screen here real quick. And here we go. All right. 
Okay, so welcome everyone. Thank you for being here today. My name is Ralph DePierre. I'm a recruitment officer with uh, EHL in Lausanne, Switzerland. I'm based uh, in Orlando, Florida, So, uh, and I cover the east coast of the Americas, including Canada, as well as Brazil. I'm originally from Brazil, so um, if you do speak Portuguese or would like to speak English, I would be happy to help you out in any of these languages. Um, as you can see on this picture, we have three campuses uh, being Lausanne, our main campus, and uh, where we have our international um, or bachelor in international hospitality management. Our brand new Singapore campus is going to be open by July this year. It's going to offer the same exact program uh, as the Lausanne campus. Our PASU campus, as you can see the picture in the middle, uh, is our uh, more of a vocational campus where we receive uh, uh, our students coming from transfers uh, from other hospitality universities as well as the vocational programs are offered at this campus. Um, we offer one only major, but we do it very well, and that's the International uh, Hospitality Management degree. Uh, there's two intakes, one in English and one in French. So you can do your entire program in English or you can do it in French. It's up to you to choose. We're the number one, uh, we're the, actually the first uh, hotel school in the world. We're found in 1893 by Jacques Schumi. Um, and also, uh, we are the number one ranked hospitality and leisure management program in the world. Uh, we're the only university and the first university to have a Michelin star training restaurant on campus, uh, the Baccarat de Sens. And uh, you will have the opportunity to work and as well as enjoy uh, the restaurant while you're on campus. Uh, we offer two internships uh, during the four year program. I will talk a little bit more about that in another slide. Uh, two intakes, February and September intakes. So you can choose if you would like to start in February and or in September. Um, we also offer an extensive alumni network of over 30,000 alumni all over 160. 50 countries. This, in my opinion, is the best uh, benefit you can take off of EHL. Uh, considering after you graduate, you will have uh, the support you need for anything and anywhere uh, you will go from our alumni and your future colleagues. Um, we also offer vir virtual open days. So now because of the uh, COVID-19, uh, if you're you know, at home and you would like to get to know the university and do a tour, uh, feel free to uh, go to our website and look for virtual open days and you will be able to do um, uh, three, uh, 3D or uh, a virtual reality tour uh, on our campus. Um, we offer two um, uh, job fairs every single year on campus. Uh, so you will have the opportunity to get to know a lot of the companies that uh, hire from uh, EHL. And I will show, show the companies on another slide. And that brings us up to a 96% employability rate. Um, we also offer summer programs. So if you're a junior or if you're a parent uh, that is looking for something for your uh, uh, your son or daughter to do during the summer, uh, we offer the summer programs at EHL. Uh, at this point, you can uh, opt for doing the online program or uh, the presential program. Uh, we have dates and all the details online and you can register as well through our website. If you'd like more information about that, feel free to reach out to me. I will be putting a link for registration after my presentation. Uh, we have a largely international student body with over 120 nationalities on campus alone. Uh, so you will be in touch with different uh, cultures, different languages, uh, as well as you will have the opportunity to learn different languages. We offer five languages, including uh, um, French, uh, Mandarin, Spanish, Italian, and German. Um, we have some scholarships available, so I would like to, uh, if you would like to know more about our scholarships, feel free to reach out to me. I will also uh, share another slide with some more information. And we have the intakes in March and September. If you want to go to our social media, it's a great way to research and get to know uh, our newest information out there. Now I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, our program. Uh, so we offer four year program starting with a preparatory year where you have a lot of uh, uh, practical experience during that year and uh, also your first internship, which is very focused on the hospitality side. And during your uh, third year, which we call the second academic year, that's when you go for your second internship, completing one year professional experience. 
Now, these are some uh, student uh, statistics on our campus. So we do have a 4% American population, as you can see. And uh, of course, we do have a, a mostly 30% Swiss because we are in Switzerland. Um, but it's always good to know these numbers. We also offer the Innovation Village. So if you're an entrepreneur, you will have the opportunity to put your ideas on paper and we will have uh, staff to help you out with that, okay? Um, we also house also uh, more than uh, around 19 startups already uh, because of this program. And if you do have the, these ideas, you will have the opportunity to do your internship uh, on your own company, as well as your final business project, the SPP based off your own business project. And these are the companies that hire from us. So you will have the opportunity to meet with that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, we are going to go to our fifth college for the night, and that is Columbia College of Chicago. There I am. Thank you all for joining me tonight. I'm Sherard from Columbia College Chicago. I'm an admissions counselor here. Let's go on and get started. Yeah. Sunshine. Okay, Columbia College Chicago. It's a, a nonprofit uh, private arts college located in the center of downtown Chicago, uh, a very uh, elaborate and uh, busy area, bustling area in, in an urban environment. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and break into some of the numbers and what we're all about here at Columbia uh, with our student populace. So with our student populace, we have 7,000 plus undergraduate and graduate students, 2,000 new freshmen and transfer students enrolled. We also have 100 plus majors and programs, 71% of freshmen live in our residence halls, and then 49% of students identify as students of color, with the average GPA being 3.34. All right, and then we're going to get into our creative learning environment at Columbia. Um, we have a lot of creative entities uh, at works here with our hands on immersion in your field from year one, meaning that you're able to start and delve right into your your craft, your uh, your art, your uh, your love. Uh, and then we also have our small class sizes. Our average class sizes are less than 19. Uh, we have faculty who live what they teach. This means that we have uh, teachers and instructors who are still remotely involved within their profession, also making money in their profession while also instructing at Columbia. All right, so with our 100 plus majors and programs here at the school, uh, they are all in the arts and are also business oriented as well. Uh, you can get a BA, a BFA, bachelor's in science, and also a bachelor's in music here. Uh, and these realms, so audio communication and writing. So we have audio arts and acoustics, advertising, American Sign Language, creative writing, journalism, photojournalism, public relations, radio, social media and digital strategy. For our media arts, uh, this is remotely evolving with uh, film and television arts, so cinema and television arts, interactive arts and media, performing arts, dance, music, theater, um, and then we have visual arts and business. So art and art history, business and entrepreneurship, design, fashion, and photography. Okay, so life outside of the classroom at Columbia uh, is a bit uh, complex. So we have 70 plus clubs and organizations um, ranging from things like our Black Student Union to Latino Alliance to our LGBTQ IA plus community as well. Uh, we have residence centers remotely involved and designated to creative students. So uh, like you're able to utilize um, all of our common areas for uh, the creative aspects. We have rooms where you can have studio space, things like that at Columbia. Uh, and then we host hundreds of campus events every year, uh, ranging from festivals to um, plays to fashion runways to art galleries things of that aspect and that nature. Um, and then our capstone festival at the end of the year is our urban arts festival. Uh, last year we had Jamila Woods headline the festival, though it was virtual, it was still a great time, uh, a very fun environment to be in. 
Um, and then I believe I have my contact information here. Uh, you can apply at columbedu slash apply. Uh, feel free to contact me. Um, and then I just want to say thank you for your time. Thank follow you very much. Oh. Uh, yeah, I was just going to say follow us on social media everywhere at Columb Admin. Thank you. Thank you. We're going to go to our sixth school and last school for the night before we finish up. Um, so that is Pratt Institute. Hello, hello. So happy to be with you all today. Hold on one second. All right. So Pratt Institute was founded in 1887 in Brooklyn's Clinton Hill neighborhood. Um, today, Pratt is one of the most prestigious and well-known art and design architecture colleges with its ideal New York City locations, top-ranked programs, faculty of award-winning professionals, outstanding career placement, and impressive list of alumni. Pratt is the first choice college for aspiring artists, designers, writers, and architectures, architects. Uh, we are consistently ranked high um, and internationally recognized for a reputation and excellence and preparing our students for becoming um, professionals in the fields of art, design, and architecture. Uh, here are some of our um, rankings here. Uh, we have an extremely diverse and global community. Your classroom is really like the world stage uh, with about 32% of our students being international students, 80 per, um, and then representing over 80 different countries. Uh, we have every um, population of student from um, the US. Um, and uh, we are a fairly small school. We have 4,800 students altogether, um, 1,300 graduate students and 3,400 undergraduate students. So if you're looking for a really intimate um, learning environment, I definitely um, say Pratt is your choice. Uh, we have more than 20 um, undergraduate majors. Uh, we have the School of Art and Design that houses art and design education, digital arts and animation, film and video, fine arts, foundation and photography. Um, and then we have the School of Design, which houses COMD, um, which is communications design. Uh, communications design has um, uh, illustration and, um, and then we have, you know, uh, graphic arts and graphic design. Um, and then we have fashion foundation, we have industrial design, and then we have interior design. All of our programs have over a 90% employment rate. Then we have a school of architecture, which is this um, building and construction management. Um, uh, then we have construction management, uh, the AAS program, and then we also do have um, uh, the construction management BPS. Uh, we have the AAS program, which is like a construction management program, the building and construction. Um, and then we do have um, the construction management BPS. And then we have the BARC, which is a five year NAAB accredited program in architecture. Then we have our School of Liberal Arts Design, which houses our writing BFA, our Crit Viz um, program, as well as our History of Art and Design. Um, program. It's really great to pursue liberal arts at a fine art institution because you're really considered a maker and, and, and uh, a, a creative first. Um, and then you get insight into other ways of making at our institution as well. Um, we do not have double majors, uh, but we do have the capacity um, to pursue minors. Uh, we have six to eight credits per semester that you're given to pursue anything you'd like. So you can have a multidisciplinary kind of interest. Um, you can customize or individualize your own minor, or you can choose to um, pursue any of these majors that we have here that may not be in our major offering. If you Google us, you might notice that we have three different campus. We have our Brooklyn campus, which is our main campus, our Manhattan campus, which houses our graphic design, illustration, painting and drawing, um, transfer track program. So you'll do two years there and then two years at our Pratt Brooklyn campus. Um, and then we have the AOS program, which has a, houses uh, the graphic design, illustration, game design, and interactive arts. Um, and again, we have our construction management program, which is housed at the Manhattan campus as well. 
We do have um, the MWP program, which is our satellite campus upstate, which houses comedy, fine arts, photography, and art and design education. Uh, we do have residence halls on campus, so you can choose to live on campus while living in New York City. Um, we have amazing studios, galleries, uh, shops, and labs, and we have a, a brand new foundation lab. Um, we have over 97% of students are employed within one year in our, our class of 2019. Um, I think we'll, in our recent conversations and surveys with students who have graduated in 2020, um, they feel very capable of adapting to kind of the virtual climate of working. We really do try to teach our students to the future and not any um, historic way of making and being or uh, even uh, kind of the present way of making. We really want our students to be um, adaptable and considerate of uh, the changing professional environment. Um, and most of our faculty members are also um, a, uh, a part of um, kind of the current professional climate. Um, so they are adjusting and teaching our students to that as well. Um, our application deadlines are here. Um, we, what's needed is your transcript. We are test optional. Um, if you are not, if English is not your first language, um, then you do have to submit uh, the TOEFL or IELTS. Um, you can email uh, Casey Inch if you'd like um, to pass that uh, because you've been studying in the US for more than four years. Um, we do have several merit-based scholarships which you can figure out now or you can ask me later. Um, and then portfolio, you'll see here and you can also ask me later. Um, and liberal arts portfolio is different. You'll submit uh, analytical writing, novels, articles, essays, et cetera. You'll submit everything virtually, submit your best image, um, fixed lighting, et cetera. If you have questions, please email admissions at prize.edu. Um, I will also um, submit a electronic quick application so that we can be in contact and share our information with you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. So now that we've heard from all six schools, um, I'm gonna invite each of the representatives to come back on camera um, and I'm gonna ask one last question um, and we'll go in the order that you guys presented um, and feel free to share. Um, but the question that we would love to hear from you is, um, what is your favorite event or tradition on campus that students can look forward to? So we can start with Columbus College of Art and Design. Yeah, um, probably my personal favorite is every year we have um, the CCAD fashion show. So seniors in our fashion design program throughout the year design their entire own collection of fashion design pieces um, for their own line. And at the end of the year, we have this wonderful fashion show that's you know um, judged by fashion professionals from the industry in the area. Um, and it's also just a really fun time and a great way to have your work seen by professionals in the industry and just the community in general. It's a really fun event. Thank you. Um, our second school was La Roche. Uh, also, I cannot start the video, but it's okay. <laughs> start video. There. So, our, one of my favorite ones is uh, we have an innovation lab and as I said before a third of the students are entrepreneurs so uh, every year students get to pitch their ideas of uh, what business they would like to open or how, how will they innovate in the hospitality industry. And so this is a great idea for the people that want to start their new businesses, because from there, many of the businesses that we see actually, um, there they started. So it's a great idea. A third was Savannah College of Art and Design. All right, so I would say um, my favorite tradition are signature events. And there's a number of them, whether that's the Savannah Film Festival or ATV Fest or the fashion show or our next one, Define Art, that's coming up. This is just a really great way to introduce yourself to a major that may be different from your own and to learn in a, in a different way that you're used to. So 
I would say that's my favorite tradition or SCAD signature events. Thank you. Next, EHL. Right. So at EHL, we have a quote that says, um, we work hard, but we play harder. So uh, we also offer uh, student committees and uh, that's how we play harder because our students, they have the opportunity to get together uh, if you know they have hobbies from arts to sports and music and movies or anything, they can join a committee, they can uh, practice sports, they can actually manage uh, those uh, events. In fact, they are the ones uh, responsible to creating our uh, main event on campus, which happens every year, the FET Final, which is the party for the graduates. And uh, these committees, they work as real companies, so they will have that uh, entrepreneur uh, uh, opportunity opportunity within uh, the, uh, you know, the area they choose. So I believe that this is uh, the most interesting part for EHL for the students. Next, Columbia College, Chicago. For sure. I'd say uh, my favorite event on campus would happen to be the Manifest Urban Arts Festival. I did touch briefly on that in my presentation. Uh, I'd say that it is just a, a great experience, first and foremost. Uh, it's open to the public. It is a festival that is constructed of all of our senior showcase work, uh, whether it be fashion, film, photography, uh, art galleries, all of that. It's basically just the works. Um, usually there is a, a top headliner or a celebrity performer. Like I said, Jamila Woods, uh, an R&B singer, she performed last year. Uh, though it was virtual, it was still a great time. When it's in person, it's even better. Moss is Pratt. Um, I think the Pratt shows are super exciting for me uh, to see seniors kind of like they're in this transitional period from like young adulthood and like professional uh, um, or like exiting college to a professional pursuit um, and being kind of filled with excitement um, as kind of their life is just beginning. And their work is really at a, a really manicured place because of their four or five years at Pratt. Um, it's just really exciting. The energy is always really positive. Everyone's always like uh, appropriately nervous, but also really zestful and excited about life, you know, and as an old person now, I'm like excited to see kind of these young people um, be excited again about everything. Um, yeah, so. Well, thank you all um, so much for sharing and answering the question. Uh, and I want to thank everyone, um, our panelists, our students and families for joining us tonight. Uh, when you all close out of the window, there will be a quick link um, to just a four question survey that we'd appreciate any feedback you'd be willing to provide. This was just one of many sessions being hosted. Um, so be sure there's another session after this uh, to check it out if you're interested. In about a week, you'll be able to find this session's recording as well as all the other sessions recordings uh, on the website in which you registered. So thank you all to our panelists. Um, all of your colleges, universities, families, students, uh, counselors, and I hope everyone has a great um, evening.